So look what I've just found lurking in the depths of my cupboard. Some Morrison Savers chicken in white sauce. And as you can see, the, the bottom is getting a little bit weathered, as is the top. But you know what? It's still in its use by days. What I think they're doing is lashing a load of curry spices together in some garlic butter, tipping this in and seeing what happens. It contains 30% cooked chicken breast as well. I like it when it's already cooked because if ever, <clears throat> you know, the electricity goes down, <laughs> I can just open it and chow it, couldn't I? Like that, yeah. Fabulous. Right then, All right, let's get cracking. Right, so I'm gonna completely make this thing up so we'll get some heat on. Turn it right down, because I don't want to burn these herbs and spices. I'm gonna put a knob of butter in there. I don't have any fresh ginger, unfortunately, so I'm just gonna put a bit of ginger powder in. That didn't work, did it? Let's try the other side. That's better. Now I'm just gonna chuck some coriander in. And some cumin. Now turmeric. A good blast of cayenne pepper. And four cloves of freshly chopped garlic. Turn the heat up a little bit, get them sizzling. All right, it's been about a minute. Now I'm gonna chuck that chicken in white sauce in. Oh, that is thick. Well, that's made a nice color. Looks a bit like a korma, doesn't it? What I need to do is just season it a bit. So a bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. Okay, let's warm that through. Let's warm that through for a few minutes. But it's finished its warming and this is what it looks like. Look at that. Oh, it's looking good. Nice consistency. Do you know what? I'm going to have to scrape the rest of that out there. Oh, it smells nice as well. Nice. It does smell rather spicy. Must be all that cayenne. So here it is. So here it is. I told you it looked a bit like a korma. Just look at the colour of that. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's like golden. And the chicken, you've got lots of shreds of chicken, as well as pieces of. If you remember, it was 30% chicken. I reckon it would be good with rice. And do you know what happened to me yesterday? I went and did a piano lesson. And one of the moms, one of my students, she'd made a curry from scratch. Like really good ingredients. And she gave me a portion of it which I've taken a picture of actually, I'll put it on a community tab. But she also gave me this, which is a nice posh bowl of microwave rice. You take the lid off, and this is actually glass. I've never seen anything so posh. So I've just warmed it through a little bit. So I'm gonna tip a little bit on that plate. And then we'll gather up some of that rice with the curry, like that. See what it's like with a bit of rice. It's excellent. <laughs> that rice is perfectly cooked. Didn't wonder the there there. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me though, because she is a really good cook. But for some reason, I know it dilutes the flavour a bit, but the texture of the rice really helps this along. 
Fabulous. I would say that that improvisation tastes different <laughs> to the, the kormas out there, the shop-bought kormas. They're a lot sweeter than this. No, so I didn't chuck any sugar or cream or anything in it. But I reckon cream would work wonders. If not cream cheese, maybe not unlike with that stuff. Very soothing. And it, feel, it feels like it's doing me a lot of good. Strangely, it's all those herbs and spices in it. Yeah, very lovely. That's when you can have that bit. Very satisfying to the last bite. Mmm. So, Morrison Savers, chicken and white sauce. Lovely. There's enough chicken in there, for me personally, and the sauce is a wonderful base that you can build on. Yeah, I can't remember how much I paid for that because it was a while back. So I'll go online and I'll try and see if they still do it first. And it should be price in the title. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here.